Qatar and the UAE could reopen diplomatic missions by June. Egypt releases dozens of detainees, including Al Jazeera journalist Hisham Abdelaziz. A mega online fundraiser raises nearly 33 million rials in just three hours. And the new host for the Under-20 Football World Cup has been announced. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. More than two years after ending the region's worst political crisis, Qatar and the United Arab Emirates are now in the process of resuming diplomatic relations. An official who spoke to Reuters said the two Gulf states could reopen embassies and diplomatic missions by mid-June. The UAE joined Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and Egypt in severing ties with Qatar back in 2017, sending shockwaves across the region. However, tensions between Doha and the Quartet calmed in 2021 with the signing of the Al Ula Declaration. Egyptian authorities have freed Al Jazeera Mubashir, journalist Hisham Abdelaziz, among dozens of other detainees. Abdelaziz was arrested in 2019 when he was subjected to an enforced disappearance for almost a month. Earlier this month, an Egyptian court renewed his detention as well as two other Al Jazeera Mubashir journalists. Egypt has cracked down on reporters over the years, with press rights group declaring it one of the worst jailers of journalists. And now the 27th night challenge has succeeded and then some. The online fundraiser on Monday night gathered nearly 33 million Qatari rials in just three hours. The Qatar charity fundraiser initially sought to raise 30 million to house 10,000 internally displaced persons in Syria and Yemen. And finally, Argentina has replaced Indonesia as the host of the Under-20 World Cup. Just weeks earlier, FIFA stripped Indonesia of its rights to host the tournament after protests by official against the Israeli team. The governor of Bali Ali banned the squad due to Israel's apartheid policies, gaining support from pro-Palestine advocates worldwide. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.